All right, welcome to Bo Spammer Strats with Spin Town, the series that I am so excited about that it's going straight to my second channel, and I'm not even going to make an intro for it. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I decided to make this a little bit of a mini series here for a reason, and that's because when I go to High Pixel and I play Bed Wars, people complain up and down that I'm a bow spammer, and it's true, I am. I embrace the bow spam. I'm not ashamed of it. I will continue to do it. I mean, the bow is in the game for a reason. It's the best weapon in the game. I want to win the game. I'm going to use the damn bow. I'm also older, and I'm not all that great with the sword anymore at all. So the older I get, the worse I'm going to get with it. Got to embrace the bow, man. Got to. But them complaining doesn't bother me. I just laugh as I kill them when they do that. What kind of annoys me is that they insinuate that it takes no skill to use the bow. Now... It's a different skill set, but of course there's skill involved in using it. Just like a sword, fireballs, TNT. you got to practice using those things to some degree to get good with them. There's no, there's no difference with the bow, people. It's stupid to think otherwise. So, in this series right here, for people who also want to embrace their bow spam, uh, I'm going to give some tips and tricks and strats that I use when bow spamming that might help you. Now, maybe you're going to use it just because, hey, you realize it's the best weapon in the game and you want to win. Or maybe you're just not all that great at PvP, like me. Uh, I'm a mixture of both those. I want to win, and I know I'm not great with a sword, so it makes sense for me. But whatever the reason you want to use it, I'm here to help you. Uh, at least a little, I hope. And <laughs> one of the strats I use that I'm going to talk about today is called Run 'em Dry. And you can do this on a, a lot of different maps, but for me, the one I play the most that's easiest on is Amazon. That's like by far my favorite map. And this is not really the reason why, but it, it is a good reason for a bow spammer to play Amazon. So when you get down to just you and one other person on this map, and there's no beds left. For me, I never have a bed, so it's just a matter of breaking the other guy's last bed. Um, but when you get down to that point, and you just happen to catch him jump onto a diamond island, okay? And I always have pearls on me, usually at this point in the game. Um, if you don't, it's a little harder sometimes, because there may not be a bridge for you to do this with. But when I catch him there, I want to keep him there. So right there, I blew up the one bridge that didn't have a hole in it. The other one he's already got to build up to, so I can probably shoot him if he tries to get up there. Then once I pearl into this base right here, I'm putting another hole here just to make it harder for him to get down this bridge. I want to trap him there or make him take a big risk in leaving. And then, once I got him pretty well trapped, I am going to fireball the hell out of anything wool that I can. And at some point, he's going to start running out of blocks. And Oh yeah, I always get rid of the bed defense because it's like I hate running into it all the time. It's just... I like to be mobile. <laughs> but, yeah, I keep fireballing, keep fireballing. And when he runs out of blocks, he is fucked. Because I have a punch bow. And at some point, he's got not going to have anything to hide behind. He's not going to be able to put a barrier behind him. Because I just blew that up. And I am going to punch him into the void. There's just no if ands, or buts about it. It's going to happen. Or, he's going to do something really stupid like this guy tries to do. <laughs> but you see, he gets down there on the, the Diamond Island, and then I'm going to blow up the bridge to the left uh, after I pearl into the base on the right. Because, you know, if he runs at me on this bridge right here, I'm probably going to be able to shoot him off, no problem. Uh, I'm going to blow up the top of this staircase right there because he's going to have to go out a long way before he can even build, and it's going to take him a while. Easier for me to shoot him off. Then I'm going to take care of this bridge a little bit more. He's pretty trapped. We're going to use the same strat. We're just going to keep blowing up the blocks uh, until he starts to run out. And I'll probably at some point get rid of the defense behind me. I always do that. So, But right now I'm just focusing on getting rid of all those blocks. Try to throw the fireballs. Yes, I told you to get rid of the defense. But you try to throw the fireballs in a place that will blow up as many blocks as possible to speed the process up. But... Then, when he realizes what's happening, he's going to be like, okay, well, i got to do something. i got to get out of here because he knows he's a goner if he sits there. 
So he is going to make a run down the bridge at me, and he's going to try a fireball boost. That's something they try all the time. But a less skilled bower would be worried about this, me. I don't usually, at least when I'm expecting the fireball boost, because, you know, I know to shoot early. I don't wait. And even if he gets airborne and is coming my way, I have a good shot at hitting him off anyways, because I've done that a lot, if you've seen in some of my trick shot videos. It's, it's something you do need to practice to get good at, and I'm decent at it. Uh, I Again, people who don't think it takes skill are just fucking idiots. But yeah, that's how you run him dry. It's not just camping somebody on an island, not letting them leave. It's how you're going to kill them when you got them there. Okay, just shooting somebody over and over when they're hiding behind a wall or got a barrier behind them isn't going to be any good, okay? It's just going to go to dragons and be a toss-up and who wins. So, yeah, make sure you run them out of blocks and then they're a sitting duck. Uh, we'll do another one of these videos at some point. I don't know how often I'm going to post them. This is going to be really low effort, low-key videos that are never going to make it to my main channel. So, good luck out there to all you bow spammers.